What's the matter? This place ring a bell? Perhaps she visited here while we were trapped inside the lance. Whatever. They're in trouble! I will handle this. Thank you. This is the uh, start of the side quests here. There's a little side scene you have to follow it for you and go in. So this is missable. This is one of the things you want to make sure you do. Go up to the house, get involved in that, and then go over here, and then we go kick some ass. Stay back. I said I would handle this. She does not seem particularly concerned about who does the fighting. What? What matters most is that we save these people. That's right! Battle! Murfish. Ow. Let the inferno engulf you. Ow. Let the in I'm trying to cast a spell, damn it. Fine, I'll use the non-converted one. You saved us! I can't thank you enough! Please, stop by our house in the village whenever you need a rest! Whoa, guys! Something's not right! Is everyone all right? They're gone. You cannot touch it from this world. I know it's rotten, but you couldn't have saved him if you tried. Don't blame yourself. Let's move onward. Welp. That's what Spyrex does to spirits. <clears throat> so apparently the spirit world even has monsters attacking people. That's just... Wonderful. Rare metal! Apparently I have a lot of that. I'd be afraid to see how much money I would get if I just sold all of the things I have on me now. Okay, I need to... I need to check. <laughs> <clears throat> Your hair is more green than ever. Not sure if lighting or costume. I'm pretty sure it's the lighting, though. I'm pretty sure you... Uh... I'm pretty sure you, uh, get, uh... This is actually one of the costumes you get. When you beat the game, you get a costume, depending on what playthrough you do. You get, you get this costume unlocked. I can't... Okay, then. You get this costume when you beat the game in Mila's playthrough. <sighs> so you can use it anytime. So I've been, I've been able to use this costume anytime I wanted to here. Um, I can't remember which one June gets. I think it's a doctor uniform. I think. I might be wrong on that. Don't quote me. <clears throat> I could... I can't even look now. June's not in the party. Fine. <laughs> game. Okay, so I'm trying to think what else needs to be done here. I'm just going to keep running around here, see if there's anything I can do. So yeah, these are all spirits. Hey, black eggs. Uh, nothing there. No more porringes or whatever it was there. Um, I don't think there's actually anything else needing to be done here, but I'm just going to keep running around looking for things anyway. Who knows when I'll find a treasure chest or something. I want to try to make this as complete as possible. Oh, hey. Forgot that was there. Put what happened in the orchard out of your mind. Perhaps you should just live in peace from now on. You don't have to fight anymore. Yes. You should focus on your own happiness.
What's happened to me? Peace. Were those two at peace? Why do I still care? I don't need to fight anymore. I couldn't protect them. Just remembered I forgot to go back into the, uh, Elise's storehouse thing. <laughs> I have to go back there after I finish raiding this place. I mean touring. Touring this place and its various drawers filled with items. <clears throat> Did I even grab these items on my initial playthrough there? <laughs> I don't even know. I skipped a lot, okay? <laughs> I've only been thoroughly checking stuff while recording larger sections of Mila. <clears throat> and even then I haven't been doing it a lot. Like this section, I'm obviously going to look for everything, but... Like, when I was in the other cave with, uh... The one cave where, uh, I had to do the mission that Jude had done already when Jude had already gone through that place. Like, I already gone through that place with Jude! I don't need to go through the entire place with Mila. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I want to make sure I go into here. I'm sure there's going to be items in here or something. I'm sure we'll find something, maybe even a scene, I don't know. Oh. No. <clears throat> um, no. Oh. Is there a clump? Clump. I don't know why I like that word. Clump. I just like the P sound and doing that sound. <laughs> I don't have a pop filter. What? It's because I use a headset. What? I really like this headset. It's one of the more annoying things. Like, I have a good microphone. Like, an actually, like, good, like, audio microphone that I use for recording larger rooms or groups of people. Just because it's a standard desk one, or I can just plug it in. I have a soundboard for everything and for it and everything, and I plug it into the computer to record, and that's what I use to stream whenever, like, Devin's over or something. Or doing a recording with Devin in the same room. We've, do, we've done that before. I think. We used to do only the, uh, headsets, but, uh... I still ha I have a couple extra head sets of headsets for when I have multiple people over. And we wanted to record something, but, uh... <clears throat> it's always an issue trying to find the, uh... I like this town. They have a festival for me every year. That's why I always make... Their fruit's so sweet. Spirits, have, that's why you want to sacrifice ghosts to the gods. <laughs> sacrifice a goat to gnome. <laughs> Please tear your mon and he will make your fruit better. <clears throat> I'm sorry, he reminds me of Terrier Mon. He might even have the same voice actor, the voice sounds similar. <clears throat> I don't even know. I'm sure some of you, if not a lot of you, understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Even looks like him. It's got the big floppy ears, damn it. A uh, new area with new monsters. Make sure you're fighting all these ones. So we've had like three or four set, three sets of monsters so far. That was something I was fighting there. Oh, there's a second kid. I saw it was wind they were weak, enough, weak against, so I went for it. What a pain. We could fly there in a heartbeat. We just if you're off. in that much of a hurry, Sylph, feel free to go ahead without us. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm ready. Where are these 
this way, I guess. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I tried to keep skills lined up, like, uh, uh, a lot of the times I, whenever I'm using a mage, or Mila in this case, Mila has a lot of elemental attacks. Jude doesn't have that many elementals. He has a few, which I try to coordinate as well, but a lot of his stuff is sort of similar in that regard. I try to combine all the elements, like, left on the right analog stick alone is Windblade, but if I'm holding L1 and push left on the, uh, um, right analog stick it's uh so same button but same but left itself they have the same element one's more powerful than the other and one can actually instigate uh in you need to cool down you're one to talk <laughs> oh these spirits and their wily antics like uh, so i'm keeping the elements the same so in the case of the heat of battle which happens a lot in my case i'll just randomly be pushing buttons around and, uh... That didn't help you, did it? Windblade! That was like, if I'm not holding L1... I'm using L1 for, like, the specialty things. The ones that don't really fit along with any of the other team members or I want to use separate. That's how I sort of use Mila, at least. When it comes to, uh, other characters that might change. But like right now, I have upset to fire moves on both on both buttons. I think actually. So if like holding L1 or not holding L1, the right analog stick. I think it has all the same elements except for water, because I think Udine, Undine and Splash are the only two water moves she has. <clears throat> so obviously, I just have Undine because Splash sucks. Now <sighs> and. Uh, like, I, I don't even have, like, Fireball anymore. I swapped that out, as you probably saw. <clears throat> I just have the Great Spirits and some of the really kick-ass spells, because I don't really use that many spells. <clears throat> That's a good one. Windblade is a really good move. Self is really good as well. They're both equally as good. If I were to swap something like that, I'd probably swap those two out. Like, Sylph is probably stronger and better. I'm ready. Yeah, let's just see. It's quicker. And I don't get airborne. That was unpleasant. <clears throat> I think it probably costs more TP, though. You gotta balance these things. You gotta find something that you like. <clears throat> but yeah, if you're going through this and you're having like if and you're not used to using like 16 controls like I'm only using 12 13 total because uh, uh, I don't count the arcane art as one of them but like all my arcane arts are always set to L up and circle like the, those three buttons it's sort of like the super move unlock use the three button combo to unleash hell <laughs> um, I have that set up for all my characters uh, but uh, every, the other 12 buttons I use. And then Jude I actually have separate, different slightly, because I have the L and I have his healing moves on uh, L, left analog stick direction and circle or whatever. L and the circle buttons, they, those are healing moves for Jude. That's just because I don't use them that often, but they're nice to have in a clinch if I actually do need them at some point. <laughs> Yeah, Sylph is definitely more powerful. And faster. It doesn't get me airborne. I like Sylph better. But, uh, Windblade probably takes less TP and it's still just as good. Well, not obviously not just as good, but... It's good. Plus, the uh, wind would be good for uh, getting into... Getting out of sticky situations. I was pushing random directions to see what the hell it would look like. <clears throat> it was not really necessary. Miracle Bangle! I think that's actually a pretty good accessory, if I remember correctly. It might be the kills restore experience, um, restore health and TP thing. I think. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. 
I'm supposed to go to the Sea Haven, but I'm not going to go there. <clears throat> I'm also going to start avoiding fights now, because I've fought enough here. Let's move on. Let's go through some of these areas now. With a treasure chest. Yeah, I just want to make sure you get all the treasure chests again. All this stuff is easily missable. <clears throat> this game. Oh, crap, that was a bad time. I need to finish this game, because I got other games I want to play now. Like, I like this game a lot, but I have other games that I also want to play. I just want to play a bunch of games. I need to finish my projects. <laughs> I got too many projects on the go, I need to start finishing them one by one. FF7 entered it at, uh, a frame where I don't need to do anything with it for a little while. Like, I just, it's sort of like a bonus video, like the story is done in it, it's just eventually I have to go fight the weapons. And I have not touched that game yet. But I got it to a point where I was happy with it, for the time being. <clears throat> Started the whole Far Cry thing, Far Cry 3 streams, and I just posted the first episode of that yesterday, or today actually. I have no idea how it was going in the video views and all that. I'll have to take a look at it. It's really hard to compare at first. You need to wait like at least a day or two. To see how it's comparing to everything else. Plus it's always the first first videos of the series always get like three times as many views. <laughs> Depending on the series. I always expect like a fifty percent drop off from the first episode of whatever series it is. <clears throat> If it's above 50, it's amazing. If it's below 50, it's average. If it's, like, below 25, then it's deplorable. <laughs> for my channel, at least. It may be different for other channels, but... Those are the kind of general gist of it that I use. <clears throat> and then if I stop doing it and I hear absolutely nothing about it, I have no urge to do anything towards it. Like Saints Row 4. I haven't posted an episode of that in months. Literally months. And I have not heard a single peep about it. I was like, well, I, th that takes even longer to edit than these episodes. And those are like two full playthroughs smashed into one. It takes, there's quite a bit of editing that goes into these. It takes like... it. Okay, normal episodes. Not including these. These are not normal episodes. These will take shorter to edit. The normal episodes, like one episode takes me like an hour. It takes me like 40 minutes to do recording. This is for like a straight up 20 minute episode. It takes 40 minutes of recording for both playthroughs ish. And then takes like 20 minutes to edit just to get everything together. And that's not even including the encoding time or the upload time that it to like for to get the video like completely like 100% done and uploaded to YouTube. And then all the figuring out the title and all that release on all that. So all in all, after all that, it's like two hours an episode. More than. More than. Upload speeds suck where I am because there's fiber nearby and doesn't enter my apartment. Whatever. Might get a cutscene here to kill my conversation topics. <clears throat> Apparently not. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Soon we will, though. I'm pretty sure soon. Uh, where are we going? Here, apparently. What are you staring at? Get lost! It... it can't be! The Four Great Spirits? What mischief are you two up to? Uh, uh we were, um... Hey, hold it! Pardon us, we have, uh, business to attend to. Right, business. Let's go! Okay. Now we have to go over here to the inn and talk to some people. Uh... 
Okay, let's go in the end. Uh, oh, hey. Have you seen those men before? A few times. I think they're tailing after me. Do you know why? Yes. I overheard something I probably shouldn't have. Please, continue. Okay. You are the four great spirits, after all. I overheard that some woman committed the sin of false reincarnation. Now people are on the hunt for her. Sin, huh? Do you have any clue of this person's whereabouts? I don't know. I didn't hear much else. But they clearly said they have to find her and kill her. Eventually, I found out that they had started to suspect us, so I've been in hiding. I see. Thank you for sharing your tale. You have been most helpful. Now see to your safety. Okay, now that we've done those two things... Haha, -ha, we talked to you! Yes, rest. Yes? Can I come too? With you? Who are you? I know you. Why can't I remember? My name's... And you? I'm... I'm Maxwell. Yes, that's right. I'm Mila Maxwell. And I chose to die. But why? I can't remember. That boy. Who was he to me? Event list updated! Woot! There we go. That's the second step. I think that's probably the step I missed in my first playthrough. You have to do those in that order to get that unlocked. Don't you think we ought to come clean with her? It might not matter with her memory gone, but still. Self's making sense. Hmm. Very well. We shall confess what we did to you. Once you were a woman named Mila. You lived with us in a place called Nia Kara. You died in the end. Do you remember that much? We must tell you what happened afterward. We tried to retrieve your soul, before it could be purified and reincarnated. We thought you'd come back with all your same old memories. But we messed up. Your memories went bye-bye. Oops. That is the way of things. Um, I think that is everything. I think... What, what do we do now? Go wherever you want. Good instruction. Well, we've been everywhere else, except for this Ushiny location. <clears throat> I can't think of anything else to do, so we might as well go back to Nia Kara. <laughs> Pretty sure this is where we have to go now. <laughs>